Halloween is finally here, and tonight little ghosts and goblins will be out in full force. But tonight isn't just about getting some free candy. Joe V is at one Beaverton home that will host a haunted house to help a special cause. Hi, Joe. Yeah, good morning, Kim. We are back with Steve Malin and his friends. They call themselves the Bonneville Haunters. Uh, this is their annual tradition. They call it the Bonneville Crypt. Uh, we'll tell you more about it in a second. By the way, if you're wondering, what, if you're just tuning in, you're wondering what I'm dressed up as. Uh, if you're not a football fan, this is my Gardner Minshew costume, homemade. If you don't know him, Google it. I promise the jorts will make sense. Okay, now, Steve, let's talk a little bit about, this is a tradition now for how many years that you've done this? We're just- Five years now. We're basically in your garage, but you yes. built this whole massive facade like outside your home yes and this is all built by just you and your friends yes <laughs> so when did all the, this work begin because i mean this is like it's a, almost like a pro, i've been to like haunted houses professionally and amateur and i mean the the detail the scale the sound yeah it's all kind of professional level so you know, we we build it over time obviously some things re reuse but uh this year we've got a few new things yeah and uh, so every year is a different theme that's every what year is a different blows theme. my mind earlier we showed you some of the props that you made, you did a big alien theme, like the movie, yes. you had a guy in an alien suit and all this weird sci-fi stuff. That's all sitting in the basement now, yep. and you did a whole new theme. That's right. So is it just like November 1st, you say, okay, now what am I gonna do next time? I'm Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we start uh, talking about it uh, right after Halloween, and it's like, oh, what are we gonna do next year? And start building, you know, sometime in early to spring to early summer. So explain to me, like, why you do this because there is so much time that you spend and it's not just you it's your friends there's a whole group of you that do this what is it about this tradition one that so fun is for that you? most ever all of us really love halloween and I should two hope so. yeah. uh we do it for the kids yeah so so tell us a little bit of how it works tonight so basically when it gets dark that's when people can come out and actually go through the haunt right yep. We start about 5.30 okay. to let, let some of the younger kids come through if they're, if they're brave enough. Okay. And then uh, we go to And you actually get a time. line of people out there, you were saying, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It's, uh, the prime hour is 7 to 8 o'clock. It can be like up to an hour wait. So. And this year, an hour wait. Yeah. Oh my. Bundle up, folks, because <laughs> yeah. I can assure you it's a little bit chilly out there. And uh, if you are wearing, you know, your Daisy Dukes, uh, that may not be a good idea. So wear some layers. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, this year, you're actually going to have the Oregon Food Bank here collecting donations. They're going to be out front? That's right, yep. And have a tent out there. They can donate, what, canned food or, or a cash donation? Canned right? food and cash always works. Okay, yeah. all right. So uh, where are you located? And where can people come and check out the Bonneville Crypt? So Whoa. we are actually on Bonneville Loop in mm -hmm. Oak Hills. Okay. Um, in, the, in Beaverton? Right in Beaverton, yeah. 14825 Northwest Bonneville Loop. Okay, we'll have the address and more of the information at kptv.com as well. Steve, thank you very much. So, uh, guys, I'm going to, you know, I guess traverse the rest of what we have here inside the Bonneville Loop. These sunglasses are, by the way, not helping a whole heck of a lot. So I'm gonna lift these up here. But I gotta tell you, they built this massive, like, spooky maze that you basically work your way through here with all sorts of creepy creatures. So I'm gonna keep making our way through there. Coming up in our next segment, we're gonna show you more of the uh, Bonneville Crypt. Oh, and Kim, uh, I wanna let you know, we've actually got some special guests, some special cameos that we're gonna have for you just in time for Halloween. So get ready for that. More to come a little bit later in the show. Trick or treat. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Can't wait.